When you started this company, you know, the idea of photography certainly wasn't new. The, the idea of, of a photography business or marketplace in certain ways was not a new concept. But yet you've frankly changed the model from you know, a very diverse difference. I mean, it's a very comparable difference to some of the other incumbents. But did you see that right away? Uh, is that the reason to, you know, that you jumped in? Could you do it better? Did you feel you could do it smarter? What was the initial reason to say, I want to go into a business with, frankly, a lot of competition? Yes, yeah, so I wound up starting Shutterstock out of my own need. So I was, uh, I was a programmer, and I was creating these small software products uh, that I would sell on the web for 20 bucks uh, here and there. Uh, one of them was a pop-up locker, when pop-ups were annoying back before uh, browsers had that feature built into them. And um, I was always using images for the website, and I remember this one particular case where I was segmenting my list of maybe 50, 70,000 users, most of which were not buyers yet, and I wanted to pick a bunch of different images to A-B test throughout, you know, A-B-C-D test uh, 10 different images to, to that mailing list to figure out which one converted better so that I can learn for the next time and kind of keep getting better. And I would go to the companies that existed at the time, some of them are still around today, and it was a really complicated process, uh, this rights manage process where you would have to pick an image and then make a phone call and uh, and this kind of internet use, which you needed this kind of worldwide unlimited use on the internet, just how the internet works, put an image up, everyone's going to see it. Um, I started to find out that certain images were reserved for people who had exclusivity in Argentina or some places in the world, and it just didn't make sense. So um, eventually, Microsoft put me out of business with Internet Explorer, building that into their, their browser. And I looked back and asked myself, what company can I build that would help businesses? So you come up with this idea out of your own need. Uh, you obviously you know, started it all up on yourself. You went out, you took the photos, you, you know, put them on the web, you categorized them in certain ways by yourself. Was there a moment where you decided, though, about how you were going to be fundamentally different? Uh, how did you assess the market and say, here's how I want to play in the pond? Yeah, so just like the example I used before where I started this software company, the way that internet companies were working, it wasn't like uh, a brick and mortar company. You didn't just pick one image or two images for your pamphlet, get a million printed up, and then send those out via direct mail. The response was so quick that you, the, the creative process of being an internet company involved using a lot of imagery. So the way I had wanted it was a subscription model, and that's how I figured uh, we would be fundamentally different. At this point in the story though, I didn't really know how the business was gonna change. I was shooting everything myself and actually I wasn't able to keep up. Companies were coming in that I recognized and downloading uh, everything that I was shooting. And I knew I needed to figure out a way to get more content into the system. And when, what wound up happening is uh, I opened it up to anyone who wanted to contribute and told them I would pay them every single time one of their photos was downloaded in the subscription. And that was when the kind of model got created of this kind of crowdsourced, organically grown, subscription-driven marketplace.